Bienvenidos nuestros amigos, aquí estamos en el NASA National Championships de 2018, presentado por Toyo Tires aquí en la Circuito de las Américas en Austin, Texas. <laughs> oh, sorry, I had the SAP button pressed. Hey kids, it's actually Jeff and John here. We are at the 2018 NASA National Championships presented by Toyo Tires and we have come back with time trial for you. This is their second session out. Had some heavy weather, but now we are in a little bit of a clear band, so they may dry out the track a bit and be able to achieve better times than they did in their first session. But as I remember, it wasn't totally coming down and it was a little, little drier in their first session. So their first session was right after the second Miata qualifying session. So I think it was probably a bit drier, but they may be getting better familiarity with the track. So what they're trying to do is beat their time from that first session that happened at 1010 Central. So session one, so you can go back on Race Hero and look at their previous results and then look at the live results and compare the two. So we'll be watching to see if there are some improvements. Again, these folks are trying for the fastest possible time. And again, they're battling a little bit of uncertainty because they don't know what's gonna happen tomorrow or later today. This is their second session for today. They will have one more time session coming up at 4.10 Central Time. And that will be their final session of the day. And I believe they have three more on Sunday to try and get it done and win the title of Time Trial National Champion. And for Dave Schatz to win his, you know, maybe 20th championship. Well, he has 14 in the bag right now. 14, okay. So, so he's looking it for might be next year by the time he hits that 20 mark. Well, you never know. Dave, El super champion. Known Dave for a long time. He can be fast in anything. He's managed to make the C4 Corvette chassis work very well for him. Laguna Seca, we saw him win. Basically, he was working out of the back of a Ryder box truck. I don't even think he had shoes on for quite a while. Made it work. Made it work at Thunder Hill. Everywhere Dave goes, he wins championships. So waiting for these folks to come around and start notching some times. Pretty slow outlap. They're trying to keep separated again. With time trial, it's a lot like qualifying, where you really want to make sure that you have a lot of space between yourself and all the other competitors and clear track. So being first out is a huge, tremendous advantage. Just like winning the Mystery Box Challenge on MasterChef. Or something like that. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I'm not personally familiar with uh, Master Chef, but <laughs> I believe you, John. I watch a lot of television. I believe Jeff. you. It looks like our fast lap on track right now is 258.794. Oh, uh, being improved now to a 257.627. So it is definitely still soggy out there, ladies and gentlemen. We were seeing uh, times down in the 240s and 230s from this group just in their previous session, and that was not completely dry like and John this, said this it was definitely outlap. drier but this is definitely an outlap so yeah. we'll watch them to start dropping uh, dropping some times here so we'll see if they can improve it still looks like it's awfully wet you can see on your screen right now a lot of rooster tails even on the dry line so they'll give it a shot always a good idea to get out there see if you can get anything done if not come on in save the equipment save the car this is where it's really an advantage to have a spotter with the radio because they can tell you hey here's how you're doing Here's how the person in front of you is doing. And you can decide whether it's worth your time to come on out or just stick around in the paddock and watch from the comfort of your rig. Or your tent, or your yurt, whatever you happen to have. A tent could still be considered a rig. A pool in a pond. Yeah. A pond would be good for you. <laughs> hey now. <laughs> So once again, watching through the S's right there. Now, turn one, see a little bit of looseness. Some of these cars are really beast. I know that Brady Flaherty is running a Camaro ZL1 1LE, which oh, is a ZL1, which is pretty hairy to begin with, yeah, and then the 1LE bad, is bad much cars. more focused. Oh, yeah. yeah. So it is a – that that's a one. It's while it says Bad Mamma Jamma on it. I, that sounds like a fitting description. You know, that's uh, similar to the car that we almost took on the one lap of America, isn't it? Oh, ah, yeah. We had plans. One of these days. One of these days. I keep saying that. Maybe we'll take my Beetle. That sounds like fun. Why not? Pack a sleeping bag. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know if we'll hit, I don't know if we'll hit the 200-mile-an-hour mark, but... Uh, pack, pack a sleeping bag and a 13-millimeter wrench, and you're fine. <laughs> that's all you need. 
And some, uh, some, let's see, some duct tape and a couple of zip ties. Do it roadkill style. That sounds uh, sounds like about all you need to fix a car there, John. Sounds like a really bad idea, which is perfect. Yeah. The beginning of a lot of fun adventures start with terrible ideas. Oh, yeah. So right now the fast time is that 257.627. TT4 car, Team Edge Motor Works. Probably get a little quicker as we go on. Oh, we've got a 253 here, John. Okay. Yeah, and it looks like uh, pretty much everybody as they're coming through, it looks like a lot of people are breaking through that three-minute mark. Good, good, good. TT2 coming down to 255.398. That's Chet Mosley, the current leader. Here we go, 251.181 for Mansuru Tony Ibrahim in TT1. We've got a 253.732 leading the way in TT3. Nice, nice. Of course, none of these times are any better than what they did in their previous session. So remember that uh, for TT, it's just best lap of the weekend. Right. So today, you know, you never know. We could get pouring rain for the rest of the weekend for every time trial session. So It very well could be. That's why you always want to give it a whirl every time you have a chance. Yep. I certainly hope it's not raining like this for the whole rest no. of the weekend. But, uh, but in the case that it does, you know, these are going to be the times that stick. We are watching a pretty significant band of storms that may or may not be hitting our way depending on the whims of the weather gods. It is coming out of the Gulf of Mexico and coming up our way, a big band of tropical storms. So we are hoping those hold off and we're able to get in some good green flag racing. But you can see even with the less than ideal weather conditions, we're still able to make it work. Even the hairiest of the hairy, the Super Unlimiteds and the Super Touring, they went out there, no problem. Bring it on. Looking back to our previous session, it looks like overall the absolute fastest time out there was turned by Dave Schatz. Of course. And that was uh, 2 minutes and 30 seconds, point nine five zero. So, yeah, we have, a, we have a long ways to go before they get down to there. We're still sitting with uh, 251.181. That was from Mansuru Tony Ibrahim awesome. in TT1. Strong work. We are actually seeing some blue sky from our announce wow. booth here, which is pretty interesting. Yeah. I mean, it looks like a lot of high clouds. We'll have to see what, you know, which direction it's all coming from. Unfortunately, we can't see. Looks like into the wind is out of our view, so I have to rely on the old radar. Looks like, like the wind. Said, John, I, I think it's moving kind of northwest, which is a good thing. It really is just coming down to the the whims of the of the weather gods here. Yeah, and local terrain, you know, a little ridge of hills here and a little wind there and all of a sudden we either get smashed or not smashed by whatever's coming our way. And we have had crazy weather before. We did have one year where the tail end of a hurricane came through. Last session of the day it was our GTS racers that were out on track. I remember it. I was in the control tower and the last racer goes over the line and gets to about turn two, comm system crashes, timing system crashes, power goes out, one trailer flipped over, the porta potty start flying over, oh the main boy. tent went down, it was crazy. Sounds like the race finished just in time. It did. And there was no power anywhere, so we were basically grilling in the, uh, the, the lot of the motel, the parking lot of the Motel 6 where we were staying. Good times. Got to do what you got to do. Got to do what you got to do. All right. Well, you can see it's really, you know, look at that. You know, over here, it's still pretty wet, but we are seeing it starting to dry out. If you take a look at the front straight, it's starting to look fairly dry. You can see right there in that shot on the front straight that it, it's looking pretty nice. So a lot of cars are coming through there. What they're doing as they go by, you know, of course, they're channeling more, pumping more water out, put a little heat in the track and drying it out. That's something you'll see at a lot of dirt tracks. Uh, sometimes during sessions, they'll ask for everybody to come out and run around the track for a little bit to pack it down and kind of get it back in shape. And I've actually seen that, believe it or not, we were at uh, Virginia International once years ago, and it started snowing. And so during lunch, they didn't want the track to freeze up, so everybody just went out in their cars, their street cars, and kept the line open, kept yeah, it keep from freezing. Yeah, keep it warm. Yep. Fun stuff. Mm -hmm. 
All right, well, we are seeing a uh, little bit quicker times. Team Edge Motorworks right there. A 246.976, it looks like. That's an improvement from where, I don't think that's an improvement from their previous session, but it is an improvement overall from where they were running just now. That car is the Edge Motorworks team. Kevin Moore and Sam Jackson, the two drivers. 1998 BMW M3 out of Northern California region. Oh, and we've got a new fast time there, TT Ford, John. Nice. Team Edge Motorworks coming in <coughs> yep. with a 246.976. That's a lot faster than everybody else out there so far. And what was their time in the last Let's session? Let's take a look at that. Team Edge Motorworks. 239. Okay. <coughs> so not 239.798. Not an improvement. Yeah. So we are seeing times coming in, but really not much huge improvement over where they were in the last session. Again, what they're trying to do here is beat the clock, put in their best possible time of the weekend. So later on in the day, we'll try to combine all of these results and see uh, kind of what's going on. Now, from our vantage point right here, you all can't see it, and that's kind of a cardinal sin to talk about this on the, uh, the air when you all can't see it. But we have a couple of American Iron Cars. We've got Corey Weber and Ryan Walton pitted in front of uh, our vantage point, and we can see them right now, and they are look like they are changing to rain tires. You can see Corey Weber and Ryan working on their cars and they seem to be swapping tires over to the full tread version so Those they're believing like they're believing for their race it's going to be a little bit a little bit moist looks like some toyo ra1s there some stickers some, some full treaded ra1s i don't know is that an ra1 or yeah i think it would have to be i haven't looked at the american iron rules in a long time i wrote the darn things probably 18 years ago but you know well, I just know that's then. a Toyo sticker, and I can't think of any other full-treaded tire like that that Toyo makes, to be honest. Hold on. It, the, Enhance. The, yeah, the pattern Enhance. from here looks sort of like a Hoosier wet, but uh, I, I'm guessing it's an RA1. Let's keep talking about stuff the, uh, the audience can't see, John. Right, I great. Think, I think they're enjoying it. Solid plan. <laughs> so at least, you know, the, the takeaway from that is the American Iron folks that are in that, let's see, they are in the Group C race which is coming up at 1.40, about an hour from now, they are gambling on rain. We can also see them making setup changes to the car. Certain adjustments. Actually, I'm wrong, he was taking the reins off. Huh, interesting. But Wait, as we if noted- he, If he's taking them off, how could they still have stickers on them? I'm chef. I, don't know. I see what you're seeing, and I agree with you, but also it doesn't make any sense. So, well, no. let's just stop talking. We'll stop. About it. Stop. <laughs> we'll just stop now. My fault. Sorry, kids. Well, back to the action on track that you can see, folks. It looks like we do have a new best time for the session in TT2. Chet Mosley has come in with a 244 354. So, big improvement. The track is definitely starting to dry up out there. You can see it in our cameras. We're looking at the turn one cam right now, and. Uh, a marked change from uh, previous times they've been through there. No rooster tails, no, uh, look at that, no river coming down the red paint anymore. We can see that there is a dry line coming into this corner here, although just outside of that dry line, oh, look at the BMW going through it. Yep. That is some slick, slick, slick. Well, and still slower because Chet's best last time was a 239, so 244 is not right. an improvement for him so far. Right. Still not touching their overall best, but, uh, you know, you can just tell that the condition of the course is definitely improving out there yep. based on those lap times. 
Indeed. I know the racing will be good, but uh, the thing I'm most excited about with the dry weather coming back is that we'll get to relaunch the drone. That really was That's cool for a cool. moment. And I know, you know, we're talking about it, and I'm seeing in the comment section people are going, what? What drone? I didn't see a drone. drone? Folks, sorry about that. It was only up for just a brief moment. Maybe a we, minute. We will try to get it back up again uh, later today, or if not, then uh, definitely tomorrow. Uh, it is a very cool piece of kit to add to our technological arsenal here and help put on a, a decent broadcast for you guys. Again, thanks to all of NASA's sponsors that do make this happen. You can check out all the member benefits at nasaproracing.com and go to member benefits. And that will show you all of the benefits you can achieve. It basically it pays for itself in one purchase. A NASA membership can easily be a profit center for you. So again, that's the work of Aldrin Villanueva, who is our producer for the weekend and also our master of contingency programs at NASA. We all wear a lot of hats. So if you have an idea, send Aldrin an email. And you'll see what he can do for you. Also, John, big thanks to some of our other sponsors out there. Race Pack. Race Pack is a leader in motorsports data acquisition, and they are actually out here at the track this weekend. So if you're listening to us from one of the one of the pits out there, highly recommend that you go and stop by, visit them to get a look at the new, brand new Vantage CL1, and you can get more info on their contingency program. Folks, a contingency program is a prize package, uh, you know, for specific classes, for specific cars, and uh, specific finishing positions. So big thank you to Race Pack and all the other contingency sponsors we have this weekend who are helping uh, put together an excellent prize package. We've also got Racer 360, Racer 360 is a is a very cool thing. It's a, a racer instructional. It's a it's a coaching, an affordable coaching uh, system that they have, affordable and convenient. Basically, the deal is that you are able to send video of your uh, of your drive over to them, and they send you back critiques. So it works even remotely, and uh, very cool to see what they can do with our our drivers out here. It makes professional race car coaching affordable and convenient. You can catch them in the media center to see how you can achieve faster lap times this weekend. Also notice that Winding Road Racing, our friends from Winding Road, are in the paddock this weekend. So they have been a big supporter of NASA. And they're here on site, and they also have a local shop in Austin in case anything goes wrong and you're here at the track listening to us, Winding Road can take care of you. Look into the comment section. David Lapham saying uh, they are RA ones. John, he says that their dry tires are Toyo RRs. So uh, thank awesome. you, David. Appreciate the tip there. And well, it's, it's hard it's to keep, it's hard to keep track of all on. the all the different rule sets. We do have a number of series directors that work hard all through the year. Jeff and I had the pleasure of dining with uh, Jason Tower, who is working hard on Spec E46. The other night, met a couple of the guys there but he's excited about this weekend. Big field of those cars. Big fields all the way around, almost 500 cars for this weekend. I think a record for the Miatas, 83 registered. We saw about 76 or so qualify. I think 65 of them will be in the big race, the Toyo Classic, at 2.45 Central Time this afternoon. Of course, right now we are watching time trial. Yeah, John, you know, I can remember in the very early days of Spec Miata when they first started coming around as a popular new class that we had some grids that were up in the 70s, but I've never heard of one over 80. I mean, no. that really is unprecedented. We amazing. were hoping for 100. I think we were hoping for 100, <laughs> but, you know, things happen. And uh, so we are checkered flag on this. I don't think anybody improved. We'll take a quick yeah, scan I, through. I don't know about an improvement from last session, but we do have a new fastest time of the session. That would be Paul Costas with the uh, TT3 group with a 243-813. Let's see, what did what did Paul get last time around? Let's see, let's see, TT3. Paul Costas with a 237-255. So he actually, he's, he got close, got close, six seconds. Uh, I guess six that's seconds isn't uh, that close. Six. That's, that's two <laughs> seconds per mile. <laughs> that's in the same, 
That's in the same region, but not in the same ballpark. Yeah, not quite. Not quite. So, well, shall we go over some times from uh, our finishers from this session, John? I guess I'll start off here with TT1. Mansuru Tony Ibrahim with a 247.365, his best time. Also turned on his very last lap out there. TT2, Chet Mosley in the lead with 244.354. Kevin Fennell with a 247.929. Anthony Imperato with a 248.852. Russ Taylor, fourth place with a 255.988. Leo Alexander with a 256.920. Brady Flaherty with a 304.190. And Jason Bigalki with a 326.831. TT3, Paul Costas with the fastest time overall in the session, but not an improvement on his overall time with a 243. 813, then Team Vorschlag, 251.084 was their best. Herb Bazard had a 251, 306, very close, but again, they haven't improved their times over last time, so this was not a great session. Two improved times, a little warmer. Uh, track is a little bit slipperier, so not so great. TT4, Team Edge Motor Works, their best was a 245.295. Then Jeffrey Birdwell with a 256.761. Dayton De La Husse with a 259.235. Michael Smith, 259.871. Jeff Hughes, three minutes, one second, 692. Art Kershudian with a three minute, four seconds, 0 .940. TT5, Richard Sukhavong, fastest in that group. He had a 259.942. Team Chameleon Racing, three minutes, 0.898. Paul Hancock, three minutes, 10 seconds, 0.226. Scott Adams, 3 minutes, 10 seconds, 3.80. Mark Phillips, 3 minutes, 18 seconds, 0.513. And, John, moving into the lettered groups in TTD, Marcelo Vine came in with a 3.07397. Team Offset Motorworks' best time was 3.13048. Sean Tretiak uh, with a 3.14998. On to TTE, Team Rotary Heads with a 3.04. Oh, sorry, 303-752. Dave Whitener with a 305-911. Austin Cobb, 306-783. Team Abergel Motorsports with a 329-686. And in TTU, Ari Below with a 257-761. And Team Art Racing with a 313591 and just to remind you folks none of those times were improvements over the previous sessions times so as it is right now the previous sessions time are going to be the one that stand uh, but this uh, the this class is you know best time take all so at any point during the weekend if these guys clock a better time that will become their new official time so we are going to take a break here we're going to go on to uh, one of my favorite sessions of the day lunch we're going to be doing lunch from 12.40 to 1.40 p.m. And so, of course, remember, these are all uh, listed in Central Standard Time. We're going to be coming back to you live and direct at 1.40 p.m. with Group C Qualifying Race. And that should be exciting. Group C consists of American Iron, Camaro Mustang Challenge, and Spec E46. So we're going to have some good fun right after lunch. We hope the weather holds out. Maybe we'll get a dry course and we'll, uh, we'll have ourselves some racing here, John. Sounds great, Jeff. We will take a break now for lunch. We hope to see you back probably just shy of 1.40 p.m. and we'll begin the racing again for qualifying races. Of course, our big show, the Toyo Classic Feature Race at 2.45 Central. Thanks so much for joining us here at the 2018 NASA National Championships presented at, by Toyo Tires at the Circuit of Americas. Stay tuned. <laughs> 